But my name is Allie Westbrook. I graduated from Syracuse in the spring of 2020 uh, as a sound recording technology major. And I told the world, I was like, I'm ready to be an adult. And the world said no. And so I am back at Syracuse for grad school in New House um, for audio arts. A lot of ear training classes, acoustics classes, signal flow, studio recording, studio management. Um, and if I could live in a recording studio, I would. Probably a songwriter and a producer. Um, and that's what I want to be when I grow up, if I ever do. I think like I started writing pretty young, but never like thought of myself as very good until like eighth grade um, when I had a teacher who really kind of like believed in my writing. So I think it started out like short stories, poems, a good haiku in there, um, and then turned into songwriting. Um, when I picked up a guitar, um, everyone sucks at guitar starting out, period. I don't care. I don't care who you are. Um, you're gonna be trash when you start out. And I think it took me a while to realize, like, no good thing comes immediately. Um, it comes after lots of failure. It just took a lot of patience for me, not only like with music and art, but with myself to realize that this is something that was possible for me to pursue. I always kind of had like that hero complex, like I wanted to make something that would affect other people. And um, I think if you told me five years ago that this is where I would be, I would have laughed. The song is called Flowers in the Attic, and I basically got the name from my mom. Um, my brother and his girlfriend moved to Colorado, and they came back for like spring break, and they were so pale and so tired, and like the pandemic was in full swing. And I remember looking at them and being like, you guys look like vampires, but my mom was just like, Wow, they look like flowers in the attic. Everyone was a little nervous because they were moving to this new city, they were gonna try to make it there, and they'd never lived together before. So I was uh, graduating from college um, during a pandemic, and I think I was just kind of like looking at my own life and what it's like to move on, or at least wanna move on, but like something's holding you back. So that's kind of like what Flowers in the Attic is about. Moving on and thinking back like on your four years of, of high school or of college and how it started so abruptly and ended so abruptly. Um, and that's just kind of how life is. Nothing hits like shower beers. Nothing hurts like senior years saying goodbye to everything. Dressed up to go on out to a club my friends raved about And I kissed someone who looked a lot like you And I know it's problematic To plant flowers in the attic And I hate to ask what's on your mind When you only want your lips on mine but Take off your clothes and I'll stay quiet. I don't know what it usually starts with lyrics first. Um, I think I am a, a storyteller at heart. I do think I shoot to like tell a story um, in all of my songs. The only thing I learned in class was how your hair falls on your shoulders. Sometimes I wish I paid attention Cause my mind has all these questions Like how you look so good when you're hungover And I know it's problematic A lot of it comes from 
the world around me, like the things that people say. Um, I keep a running list of notes like on my phone or in my agenda, like anything I can get my hands on to just write the thought down. Take off your clothes and I'll stay quiet. I don't know what this is. I read a lot. Um, I love reading. There's always like a line or like a zinger that I end up writing down or like taking a photo of and coming back to it um, that sparks something else. I think I write best when I'm feeling productive, like in my life. I need my room to be clean or at least like bearably clean for me to think. Um, and a lot of that comes from like having things around my space that that spark joy. Like if it sparks joy in you, you should have it in your space. Even like posters or postcards or notes from friends or like a funny lamp or a cool chair make you feel some type of way. Because at the end of the day, like I know my music will only be as good as my mental health. And a lot of my music is like written on mental health and love and grief and loss and addiction. Insecurity is going to happen to everyone. Like, I think that's something that I probably struggle with, like, every week, if not every day. The advice that I give myself. You'll never do the things that you want to do if you're just waiting around to make it perfect. Go and do it. You're just, you're going to fail and you need to be able to accept that because it's the only way that you're ever going to learn. If I could tell my high school self anything, it would be that your parents are proud of you. They're proud. And they shouldn't need to tell you that they're proud of you for you to know it. And in five years, hopefully, I'm still making things that I love that make me feel something and something that hopefully I'm making something that other people can connect with too. And I think that's what I try to do with music.